Hi guys, it's Allie with Allie Oops Boutique and Allie Oops Market House DIY Studio. And I thank you for checking out this video. I just thought I would do a quick little project with you. And um, it's going to use our transfers that are made by a maker studio. So I love these little, um, the new transfers that we got in. And I've done a couple projects. I feel like this week has been the week of transfers, right? So um, a lot of the projects that I've done this week have been with transfers. So um, you could find these transfers at markethousediy.com and I'll drop the link in the comments of this video, um, but they are beautiful and they have a lot of little elements that you can use on many, many projects. So today, um, one thing, and I did not grab it, so I probably need to, let me do that real quick. Today, I'm going to work on some little oyster shells. So I do these little oyster shells. We have a workshop in the studio often that incorporates the oyster shells. We do, um, which I'll drop a link when um, we do have some scheduled for May, and I'll drop a link in that if you're local and you wanna join us. And we may even start doing um, those online. We've started doing paid events online, so we might do that. You can purchase your supply kit, we could ship it out to you, and you could do it from the comfort of your own home. So watch for that, and I'll drop the link in the comments. But um, I like to use oyster shells to make beautiful little artwork. So this one is um, just glossed to bring out the natural beautiful colors. I've done a reverse canvas, and I've beaded the frame, and um, I've embellished it with gold along the edge. So that's pretty cool, I like to do those. We also do, um, oyster shells, uh, bead garlands with oyster shells, and on those, most of the time, we decoupage them. So I have a couple different ones, and we have a little hole drilled in the top that we drill with the diamond bit blade, and um, then we add beautiful beads. So I'll have to do a video on those. Those are really fun, um, and they're just fun to do. So today, as I was, or this week, as I was doing projects, with these transfers. Now I've cut them up, so they're missing a lot of pieces, but this is Hotel Burgundy, and it had lots of little elements that I've cut up, and I will show you in just a minute. This one is Hotel Adrian, and it's got all the beautiful hues of vintage pink, antique pinks, and mauves, or mauve, however you wanna say it. Um, so I'm going to be using, because they have small little elements, the little butterflies, little bees, little crowns, little um, stamps, just beautiful little elements that fit perfectly, see, into the shell. So I'm going to do just a couple of little things real quick on a video, just so that you can see how easy it is to use transfers, and you don't have to always, whoop, I'm moving the camera, so the last time I, um, Drop the camera, it was so funny. And then you got a nice view of my feet. Um, anyway, this um, is, I just wanted to do the video to show y'all that you can use transfers on so many things, um, not just furniture pieces. So you can use them on fabric, you can use them on little um, oyster shells, you can use them on, um, if you cast molds and little shapes you can embellish them with um, the transfers so and these are new so I've just been really enjoying them and I want to show y'all how you can use them to put them on an oyster shell so the first thing that I did you know an oyster shell has this um, natural color in it which this is very beautiful when it's glossed and you can see all the different shades but um, because I was doing a transfer on mine, I wanted to just take that away. Uh, so I just covered it with a white chalk paint. I used Dixie Bell cotton and I put a couple of coats on it just to take away that natural color. So I've already cut out a few, like this cute little bee. Then another little bee. A cute little crown. Um, a little word Paris. Oh, let me see that. Ah. 
a couple of butterflies, which is as funny because this Paris and this butterfly, <laughs> it reminds me of the movie Bridesmaids that me and my daughters have watched a million times. So funny. So that'll be my bridesmaid um, oyster shell. Okay, so that's just the name of it. Not that I'm, I have a bridesmaid. <laughs> I've been married for quite some time and I intend on staying. I don't want to go down that road again. So um, what I was going to tell you next was that transfers are an image, a color, full color image that is on like um, oh, acetate, cellophane, you know, plastic. It's got a protective backing. And when you lay the image down on whatever surface you want to apply it to, you just rub it on and it sticks. And then what you'll do is you will put a protective coating on it, covering the top coat if it is on that type of surface. If it's on a fabric, then we usually use like a spray wax. And Dixie Belle has an amazing spray wax to use. Easy peasy spray wax. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I was playing around with some of these um, little transfers and I decided that on this one I'll put this little B and then I'm gonna put the little crown so one thing I will tell you that will be very helpful because I've done this um, and I don't want you to have to do it is you always want to leave a little edge around when you cut your design off of a larger um, transfer piece page um, or sheet whatever you'd like to call it you want to leave a little extra so that you will have room to grab it and pull it back. Don't cut it right along the design. And then that would drive you insane anyway to have to try to do that. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to peel, since I know where I want to put my design, I'm going to peel the protective backing away like that. I'm going to put it off to the side. And I'm going to, once you stick it, it's one and done. You can't pull it back up. It once you press down so I'm going to put my little B where I can get the most of them on now I might lose some of his little wings but I'm gonna put him where I can get the most of him on there and still hopefully have a little bit of edge to put my gold embellishment now when I, I'll talk about that when we get to that point but um, anyway, so I've pressed it down where I want it, okay? Now, of course, it's not all sticking because I haven't begun to rub. The one thing about oyster shells is they are all, and I'm going to move the camera down so you can see what's going on and not just see me running my mouth. Um, oh, let me pull him back down. Thank goodness I didn't push him too hard. Okay, so the thing about oyster shells is they're, you know, a natural formation. And so they are not even, kind of like a rock, a stone. Um, so this is a little tricky. And on this one, I'm actually using my fingernail. So you want to start on one end. And you can use like big clam shells. You can use any other kind of shell that you like. And as you start to see that transfer pull away, let's see if it's, see there? It's starting to pull away from its um, page. You just want to go be patient, which is not my strong quality. And it looks like there we go. This is going to look vintage and that's exactly what I'm going for. So if some of the image kind of pulls away a bit, I'm not going to get too upset about that. But I do want the main part of the image. I don't want to lose it all. But a little crackling. Um, it's just tricky on this surface. I will say it is much easier putting a transfer on 
a flat surface. All right. Oh. And if you do lose a piece, like it stays on, you can usually lay your sheet back down and salvage it. Just put that design right where, like this one, let's see. It goes right there, it came up and just laid it back down. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my finger and just lightly burnish that transfer onto my shell. Now, if the crackling drives you nuts and you're not loving the vintage look, I can always go in there and put just a smidge of paint. Um, so easy. So the next thing I wanna do is put this sweet little crown on top of my B. I'm saying that's a B, it looks like a B to me. And I'm gonna put it right in between its antennas. Sweet. So that's a queen bee. This one will be queen bee. How about that? That's its name. And I'm going to rub that transfer down. And like I said, with these shells, since the shells are your medium, um, maybe easier to just use your fingernail which I don't have too much of them. I, I'm always breaking mine, but it seems to be working a little bit better than. But usually in most of our, um, most of our transfers, that is so sweet. Look at that, y'all. I love it. And with the gold around the edges, it's gonna look so good. All right, so I'm just burnishing it with my finger just a little bit, and I've got that sweet little bee. All right, so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my bridesmaid. So I'm gonna put this little butterfly inside this little shell. So I'm gonna remove the little backing, and this one, I cut it close, probably because whatever image was near it was pretty close so it was hard to leave much extra around the edge but please i encourage you if you don't want to say bad words leave some edge so i'm gonna start rubbing this down and like i said i'm gonna use my finger on these i think i'm gonna Start on this edge. Make sure whatever paint, if you paint the surface that you're putting your transfer on, that you um, make sure that it's dry. You don't wanna put it on wet paint. And you'll be so much happier All right, so I have a little cracking there, but mainly this is because of the nature of the shell, because it's just a curved surface. It's just a little more challenging to work with, but no worries. I'm looking right ahead of me at some paint that is the perfect color if I need to fix my little butterfly, which you shouldn't have to do, but when you're doing a transfer, it should all come off happily. But sometimes we have little mishaps. And with this little booger, this one's challenging, so let's see. Let me put that right in there. This is a challenging little project today. But I like challenges. Okay. I think I got 
up most of it. All right, so I did lose a little bit of my butterfly, but like I said, I can just add a little paint and I'll do that and show you how you do that. So next I'm gonna take my Paris. And I do wanna to try to make sure that this entire word um, I don't really want to mess this one up, so this one would be a booger to try to fix with paint. <laughs> Even the best of us would probably not want to have to redo that one. So let me take my time and make sure that it all... But I really do sincerely like the crackling effect of the butterfly. It does not bother me. And the bee, actually. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lord. How cute is that? Can you see that little Paris? Okay. So now what I'm going to do, because I know there are those of you out there that um, are like, I cannot, hey, here I am. <laughs> I cannot take that cracking. So I'm going to take a little teeny detail. Let's see. I'm going to take a little teeny detail brush and just fix it so that you can see what it would look like when it's fixed. All right, but for detailing, girl needs her glasses. And let's see. Little teeny detail brush. That one looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's, I'm going to take just, there's some brown in here. There's some beige in this color. Um, there's some black. And really, I'm putting out way more paint than I need. There's some pretty peachy tones. Let's see what I got. Oh, this is pretty close. I can mix it with a little white. A little white right here. Okay, so let's put just a smidge of this down. Oh, this paints. That white's gone. That should have been in the trash. All right, so let's see. A little teeny bit of white. So, I'm just going to kind of blend and get that color in there. there. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this brown. And when you do this, when you repair the color, you want to go a little bit above and a little bit below, like a little bit above, a little bit below so that you get, um, It doesn't look like you just put a blob of paint on there. And a lot of times I don't even make it perfect um, so that it's intentionally. Now what I'm doing is there's a little bit of brown around the edges, so I'm just going in and
putting in a little shading. So it looks just like it's supposed to. Even when I decoupage, sometimes I will purposely paint a little bit. And there was one sitting, oh, right here. So this paper, I haven't glazed it yet, but I decoupaged it, but I wanted it to have more of a hand-painted look, so I just painted the same colors over top. All right, so look at that, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous, little vintage little vintage shell. So now I'm going to put a little bit of brown where my bee cracked. So I'm just gonna follow that little crack. Perfect. And that's all I'm going to do. Okay. So now that we have our little transfer on our oyster shell, we'll show you how I um, put gold. <laughs> I need to um, move the camera just a bit. I'm going to show you how I just do my gold edging around the shell. A lot of times I will use just plain metallic gold paint. This one is by Deco Art. Sometimes I use gold leaf. When I use gold leaf, I typically use the Maker Studio gold leaf, which I love. And that's a two-step process with sizing. Let it come to tack and then you gold leaf. There is some gold leaf paint out there. I don't typically use that. But today I'm just gonna use this little metallic gold. So I'm going to let you see what's going on. All right. So I got me a little bitty brush, little bitty. Um, like I said, girl needs her glasses. Oh, that was way too much paint. Um, don't ever, you don't need that much paint at all. Sorry about that guys. So I'm just going to brush, just go along the edges and to enhance the natural irregularities, edge, shape, whatever you want to call it. All the way around. You don't even have to, because it's an uneven form, you don't even have to have a steady hand for this. So those of you out there, I get a lot of ladies in the studio, they say they don't have a steady hand. You don't even need one for this. Because this one, you're just going along the edge of the shell. And I usually do uh, two or three coats because I really want it to pop, but I let it dry in between. So if you don't, you will drag that paint and it will not be pretty. A lot of times I also like to paint this top part right here. So I'm going to, I guess that's where it attaches to the other shell when it's closed and has a beautiful pearl inside. We're going to say this one had a beautiful pearl. This is really pretty. All right. So there's that gold. I'm going to let that dry. I'll put another coat. And then when I put the gloss coat on, it will pop. All right. So I'm going to do this one too. I'm going to just go all the way around the edge really easily. I'm 
this one's going to have a lot of gold on it because I like the gold to be on this piece right here. So, and I kind of end it wherever the edge of the shell is. So I only go do the gold in this area here. And then I just kind of trail it around. I love this gold. This is a deco art. It's metallic and it is called glorious gold. And to me, in my book, it is glorious. It's a beautiful, it's in between a bright gold and an antique gold, which is just about, for me, the perfect shade of gold. So there you are. Isn't that so pretty? And once that glossy finish is on there and a couple more coats of gold, it'll be gorgeous. All right, so now that I've dumped out a ton of gold paint, I am going to have to paint a few more oyster shells. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend and thank you again for joining me and watching this little video. For more like these, you can tune into our YouTube channel, which I believe, oh, I keep doing this. I should have this stuff before I even open my mouth. Um, Alley Oops Boutique or Alley Oops um, YouTube. And then, of course, you can get to everything from alleyoops.com. So, you have fun and make something beautiful today and grab you some oyster shells. And if you don't have them and you're local, you can come to our studio and do a workshop and we'll have everything there for you. So, thank you so much and we'll see you soon.